Buenos días, mi hermanos y mi hermanas. Hoy es muy hermosa. Mm. Muchas gracias, Solar. What a blessing to rise today. Chickens in the coop. I know y'all have been dying for a vlog. So I'm gonna throw a little something at you today. I'm staying away from my personal life and all that stuff, but I will show you a little bit of what Mother Nature and the beauty of Puerto Rico has to offer for everybody or as I like to call it, Borraquín, because that's the name of this island before Christopher Columb asshole came over here and enslaved everybody. And that is still taking place to this day. And the uh, current sickness that's supposedly going around is <laughs> an exact <laughs> example of that. Because CO, you know, 19, can't even say it on YouTube, but um, it's fraud. It's colonialism at its finest. Who you think's making all that money from them people wearing gloves and wearing masks, putting hand sanitizer on their hands? Who you think's making all the money from all the thermometers up at the stores, the temperature checkers? Who you think's making that money? Big, colonialized, white pharmaceutical companies. Big rich man making all that money. People of Puerto Rico have mainly been an experiment um, for wealthy pharmaceutical companies, pesticides companies, and all kinds of stuff for a very long time. It's actually extremely sad. People here on the island need to rise the fuck up and do something and, and understand that they're, um, they're being mistreated and manipulated on a, a massive, massive scale. Massive scale. You know, um, people still wearing masks out here. I mean, are you guys still buying this fucking bullshit they're selling you? You guys really falling for this shit still? I mean, wake the fuck up. Take that fucking mask off your face and fucking breathe. Seriously, how fucking obedient and docile can you be? You know why people in some states aren't wearing a mask anymore? Because they told the government to fuck off and they took off their mask. That's the only reason. The reason why people here in PR are still forced or still, the reason why there's still a law or whatever you call it, a executive order in place to wear one is because people are obedient little slaves and they continue to wear one. When you take the fucking mask off and lift your middle finger in the air and say, fuck the government, that's when the masks come off. But they will never come off if you don't do that. Because there's money to be made on obedient slaves who continue to blindly follow It's Wake the Fuck Up Saturday.
Pueblo de Enyaco. Plant. Yellow pear tomatoes. Tomatillos. Habaneros. Big old garden coming up. Get it, girls, get it. Este muy hermoso, este muy rico. Oh, what we got here? I just noticed that. Fresh melon. Boom. Oh, actually, it's not our first melon. Because we got these over here. You ever had some tropical horned melons? My papaya from seed. This one's taller than me now. And it's a female. Oh, we got some fruit coming. And this is why we were at the chicken farm today. I'm not done building my coop yet. It's still kind of in the works, but we were picking up some baby chicks down at Peel Peel Farms. What are you hearing, Mama? What are you hearing, Mama? Oh, she heard the signs of food. She said, food? What? We got some big may may coming. Bunch of bananas, tropical cherries, banana. Self-providing. Another way to fuck the system. Especially with inflation and rising prices. Why not just get the stuff yourself and grow it yourself and get the eggs yourself, go fishing yourself and uh, suck these corporations dry of their greed. Because all the big corporations are still open. You know, y'all noticed Walmart was still open, but not little Debbie's from down the street. Or a bakery of some sort. Anyways, just wanted to give you all a little love, a little C 
scenery of beautiful Borekin. Okay. Get it right. Don't get it twisted. Y'all stay blessed.